What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber. Me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Diodora N9000. I'm not going to butcher the name of this shoe because like there's so many names for it. So I say it's, I'm going to say it's the Christmas themed shoe because it really looks Christmassy. So this is the Diodora N9000 Christmas edition, man, coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, firstly, just want to let you know these comes with like a gray lace. I probably never use these gray laces. Um, it doesn't really match the shoe. Now, if they gave us cream laces, these will pop. But anyways, getting towards the um, details of the shoe, you have a corduroy upper. You have a little bit of suede in the upper, and you also have a little bit of um, a leather in the upper. This white is where the leather is, and it's a pretty good quality leather. Um, and this light green, this is where the suede comes in. Every other part of the shoe is made of like a corduroy upper and the quality is amazing on this shoe. Definitely worth it. On the midsole, you have like an olive green midsole. And then, you know, you got those little hits of tan. You got these little hits of, you know, green in there. And then you got that hit of um, red right there. It's pretty decent, man. Just overall, a pretty good quality shoe. And getting towards the back of the shoe, it says Deodora 1990. And on the medial side of the shoe is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. They also got this hang tag to let you know it's Deodora Heritage. But um, as far as the lacing system of the shoe goes, it's just standard um, N9000 lacing. Man, this the quality of this corduroy is crazy, man. Like it makes me want to go get me some corduroy pants, man, just to just to match the shoe. But anyways, you got these regular like olive style laces, and on the top of the tongue. We got the Diodora logo stitched in there in the black. And on the insole of the shoe, the insole is pretty nice. I can't lie. Like, it's pretty hard to describe it. I'll try and get a picture of it so I can show you, like, on the side of me in the picture. But this is part of the Diodora Heritage Collection designed by Leo C. I'm not going to butcher dude last name. But overall, man, just a great quality shoe. As far as sizing goes with this shoe, I would suggest going true to size, even if you have a fat a wide, a normal, or a narrow foot. These shoes retail at $250, and how I came across my pair was these completely missed me um, when these came out, like the retail, and I did not know this shoe even existed, but I am in a Diodora um, Facebook group, and the Diodora heads was like posting their top pickups of the year. Um, I don't think I picked any other Diodoras up for um, 2021, actually. This was my only one. And I got this in 2022, so this counts as a 2022 cop. But anyways, like they was posting this shoe as like number one, number two, number three. And when they was posting it, I'm like asking questions like, man, what, what is the shoe? You know, where did this come from? And they was like, oh, this is a um, GR Diodora drop. You know, you can still find a pair if you look. So I went on the Diodora website and they had these, you know, full size run of them for 250 bucks. And I signed up for the, um, I signed up for a Diodora account and with that, you get 30% off. So that dropped it down to like, I want to say $200 and then shipping was free. So as opposed to paying 250, I got these shoes for $200, which is definitely great. And you know, the quality of the shoe is amazing. Got that uh, corduroy upper, um, great like quality, you know, suede and leather materials. Like this is definitely worth 250 bucks. So like I was willing to pay 250, but to get it for 200 is definitely a steal. What really made me like the shoe is that it's, it looks like it's a great Christmas themed shoe. You can definitely rock this. It got the, it got the green, it got the hits of red in there. You got the light green, the dark green, and the, like the khaki with the white in there. This is definitely, this shoe definitely screams Christmas, you know, holiday theme. You can wear this shoe at any time of the year. I'm not telling you just to wear these during the Christmas time days, but me personally, when these shoes come out to be rocked, these was more than likely going to be rocked towards Christmas, man. But overall, this is definitely a great shoe. Shout out to the Diodora Facebook group for putting me on these shoes. I'll put a link down of that group in the description. If you're a lover of Diodora shoes and you just want to be up on the latest Diodora drops, follow that group. They definitely have some great members in there. But overall, man, once I seen this shoe, I'm glad that it wasn't hyped so that I had to go on StockX or Gold or eBay just to get these shoes. I was able to go on the Deer Door website, add them to cart, and check out. But, you know, overall, man, definitely a classic, clean, holiday-themed shoe. Now, without further ado, here's an on-foot look of the Deer Door N9000 Christmas Edition. 
first Joe Rory and Maul break up. Then every day I wake up feeling like they owe me still. Just added to them 40 acres. No correlation with broke niggas. I be in Florence racing. Big shit, steering wheels so big, my arm aching. Patting your style after mine. I turned my spoils to hunger. Good on the soil, but rap made me more of a hustler. Fiends smoke off the foil. Bagging boy up in bundles. I'm like Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. Boy, I've been humble. Fair time, spent half my life avoiding them numbers. So in my city, rich niggas pushing Toyota Tundras. It's David versus Goliath. I'm Brandon Roy getting buckets to seize that Griselda plan and grew to Sequoias above us. Right. Only choice was to come up. Y'all fell too short of those numbers. Not being loyal to your brother. Y'all rather poison each other. Right. Married the game. No horse and carriage, just Porsche Carreras. My sixth sense more coherent. I'm talking to spirits. I fuck my bras in numeric order. Quarterbacking. Marcus Mariota. White girl. Maria Sharapova. That dope got a familiar odor. We still rolling this year alone. I'm halfway through and I'm near my quota. I know they want to hear woke lines in my raps. Had close times. I'm talking on both sides of the strap. They chasing me and Conway. We so far from the pack that it might be a while. So I'ma send postcards till I'm back. How they don't like me. My footsteps, they follow them tightly. Like we don't know the reason y'all picked them Griselda tight beats. I called this nigga. He ain't have to invite me. Cause this the only part of that game that still excites me. Right. <laughs> Burners a flash. Shots burn you with bass. Skin grabs after surgery. Gonna look like Burberry. Plaid. Certainly gas, emergency stash, a half a million currency, that's in a secret location, buried in bags. Niggas say they nice, but don't shake shit up like the butch. Got a movie deal, but chill, yo, my real life. Like Getting into the box details of this shoe, it's a pretty nice box that this comes in, man. Like, um, it says Deodora right there. And you got the box tag over here. And then as you open it up, you get like a nice little graphic. It goes crazy, man. I can't even lie. Then. They give you the uh, white tissue paper with the Deodora on there. Overall, man, just, you know, you want to get a little look at what this says. It says Deodora Heritage, because I'm guessing, because this is part of the Deodora Heritage Collection. But overall, man, this is definitely well-crafted and well-made, even to the box. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below, what's the shoe that you have that's not Reebok, not Adidas, not Nike? not Jordan, um, you know, just a, um, like, you know, go ahead and shout out some other brands that don't really get much love in the U.S. Because overseas, they get the love, but in the U.S., they don't get much love. Like, show, you know, tell me your favorite pair of Diodorus, favorite pair of Asics, favorite pair of, um, what's another shoe that don't get much love? New Balance. Um, you know, just go ahead and comment down some colorways of those shoes, your favorite colorways of those below, and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.